I was having a lovely foot massage this morning when I realized it wasn't a foot massage I was having, but rather when I woke up, it was just a cat licking my feet. And that got me thinking. Good day, you absolute legends, and welcome to another edition of Update News. Now, today's hot topic is internal branch just updated. This is massive, massive news, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do get into that today, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has been pressing that subscribe button as of late as we know youtube goes through certain cycles which essentially means they will unsubscribe you the viewer from your favorite youtubers without your knowledge or consent and it is a real big problem at the minute so can you please as always just make sure that you are still subscribed i've been saying it a lot recently but it is a big issue please make sure you are still subscribed if you need to resubscribe please do resubscribe but if you have been watching me for a while you like what i do here you like the videos that i make then why not consider hitting that subscribe button also don't forget to please hit that like button it not only helps me out as a creator but it really does help the youtube algorithm to get this information out there so everybody can take full advantage of all of the information presented in this video anyway let's get right on into it so late afternoon yesterday we had a steam db update in the internal branch now this can be one of two things the most likely suspect that this is going to be is the new expedition the reason being is we've got orbital now but we are still anticipating the expedition to happen at some point in the very near future we know that this is the case every update as an expedition and orbital will be no different now on the flip side to that it could be the next major update that we are also anticipating to be released in the next month or two and the reason i said that is because with orbital we know that the orbital update was in the steam db internal branch update for a very long time everybody seen that the internal branch was updated repeatedly but then it never actually went to experimental it never went to public it just stood there and it just kept getting updates and updates and updates but never actually released which kind of suspected at the time it was going to be a next major update but at the moment it is just too early to tell because this literally only happened late afternoon yesterday and on top of all that we can already rule out at this point that it's not just a small patch update like we have been getting or even quite a sizable patch update because we've just had that sizable patch update and they seem to have squished most of the problems that orbital came with at the initial release so in my mind this doesn't seem like it's just a patch update so with that ruled out then if it does go to experimental and then public it will be the next expedition but this is also very exciting stuff not the fact that it's an expedition itself a lot of people do like expeditions a lot of people don't me i can take it or leave it however what it will signify is the countdown to the next big update and that is what i'm personally more excited for because as we know the expedition starts but when it ends it's usually then a week or two later when we do get the next update the next major update so the one after now orbital and we know that there is a lot of juicy stuff still to come this year as already said by mr murray on stage at the game awards norman sky this year is going to be the biggest year in the game's history as he said and with orbital and what we've seen so far i am very 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 excited to see what the team are going to be implementing in future updates this year especially since they've already got this all planned out but what kind of stuff are we actually expecting in the next update now this is a question that i've asked myself now we have had clues for example with the new space stations and now they are now procedurally generated on the external and now as well as internal we had the procedurally generated space station type b's leaked to us a long long while ago way before orbital and we could all have a first look that's how far ahead hello games were with their updates now at the time it was speculated that they would come in game but it was actually two full major updates later that we then got the space station type b's now since then we've actually had some more leaks 
come through in people that dig in game files and a lot more talented than what I even am able to do. Now, one of the leaks was a message hidden within the game files that says, I see her. It was actually in an audio file that someone did some fancy work with and it actually spelled out the words, I see her in the audio files, which was absolutely insane. So we know that there's going to be some sort of mysterious entertain as well. The game talks about the broodmother and I see her. There is going to be some kind of correlation with that. Now, if that is the case and it happens this time around, could we get that in the expedition or could we get that in the next major update? The way that I see this sort of playing out into getting introduced to this broodmother, this new entity, this new unseen force, is the expedition this time around might go ahead and build up to that. So it might just be like the biggest cliffhanger ever. So in the expedition, I suspect we'll all be working together to unlock the secrets to get to the broodmother. Because again, it is speculated at the moment that the broodmother is in an alternate dimension, one that's parallel by the side of No Man's Sky, always present, but you can never see it unless you know how to go. And we know that this is the case because with the autophages, the only way to see an autophage camp is to physically kind of go in their dimension when you uncloak them in game. So if that is the case and these autophages has come from this alternate dimension, dimension now the dimension itself has been speculated to be called the, the realm of glass whether or not hello games will actually use that name is is another question entirely but i suspect it will be an expedition where we try and get to the realm of glass or to unlock the secrets on how to get there but when the update does happen then I reckon that's when we will then be able to go ahead and travel to the said realm. Now, how could we travel there? And as we already have suspected for the very longest of time, that maybe the space station core has something to do with it. Now, we have the space station cores in game and we have the keys to go ahead and unlock whatever the juicy secret seems to be with them. This has been in the game now for not just the last update, but maybe many 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 updates in fact last year i was speaking about this but it seems now that the time is closer than ever to reveal said secret now a lot of people are speculating that this is gonna be it'll unlock like the portal to the realm of glass or maybe it'll just teleport the entire space station to that said realm or unclock it or whatever the case may be and some people seem to think that the space station will go ahead and get fully unlocked for you you can go ahead and build shops in there and have your own space station on it yourself i mean speculation is just that it is speculation at the moment and essentially until we do get the update itself and until the update does say right this is what's happening this is what's unlocked and we get the spreadsheet we know what's going on then unfortunately that's all this portion can be at the minute it can only be speculation now we know that the realm of glass seems to be more of a real thing because when we go ahead and un try and unlock the space station obviously with the override it doesn't work but we do get the message glass 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 and i think that's where the realm of glass has come from and i think that's why the speculation is so high around that at the moment but like i said until we do get the update or the expedition that starts to explain what's going on then we don't fully understand it until it happens so as always take this portion of the video with a small pinch of salt and try not to set your expectations too high anyway ladies and gentlemen that is everything from me here today let me know what you think about today's topics in the comment section down below you know what to do and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now